place hasn't been used in a while. Hey everyone, in this tutorial, I'll share secret tips for Filmora Pro. Hi, I'm Paul, and today I'll share you some cool features of Filmora Pro. They're not actually a secret, but they might not be well known. At least, I didn't know some of them. These tips will help you save time while editing in Filmora Pro. Let's check them out! Did you know you can automatically label clips by type? Go to File, Options, Labels. Here you can choose the color by the type of media. For example, I can choose tomato for clips, saffron for images, and nickel for panels. This will help us visualize and identify the type of media in the timeline much quicker. We can load the timeline cache to see a smooth preview of the video. But did you know we can manually delete those files to save space on the hard drive? Go to File, Options, Cache. Here we can see how much space the cache is using on our drive. Click on the Delete buttons. And when you restart Filmora Pro, they'll be erased. You can also choose how long to keep the unused files. Another tip to save space is to delete the proxy files we've created. Go to File, Options, Proxies. Here you can delete all the proxies for the current project or all the proxies you've ever created. We can copy and paste effects to multiple clips. Just copy the clip with all the effects or transformations. Then select all the clips you want to apply these effects to. Right click and select Paste Attributes. On the pop-up window, you can choose which effects or transformations you want to paste and which ones you don't. When moving clips around the timeline, we might want them to coincide with other clips. You can add this fast precision by using the snapping feature. Just click on the magnet icon in the timeline to activate it. And now when we move the clips, they'll snap to each other's edges. Are you using many tracks? Here's a tip on scrolling through the timeline. When we put videos with sound in the timeline, the video and the audio are played symmetrically. If we have too many videos in different tracks, we can get a little lost and confuse which audio belongs to which video. But if we select symmetrical scroll, we'll see the audio and video tracks scroll at the same time, just like this, up and down respectively. Oh, here's another tip for when you're using multiple tracks. If you want to neatly organize the timeline, especially if you're not the only editor of the project, you can name the tracks so you keep every type of shot in the same line. Just right-click on the name of the track and select Rename Track. Did you know you can auto-classify the files in the media panel? In the media panel, click on the box that says Group By and select Media. We'll get the clips and folders. Classified by Audio and Video, Still Images, Planes, and Titles. Do you have an effect with precise settings or a combination of effects that you always use? Select the effect or combination of effects from the Controls panel Right-click and select Create Presets, and choose how to save it. Once you have saved your presets, 
It will be available in the preset section, at the bottom of the effects. That's not all. If you go to the preset folder, you can find the preset files, so you can share it with other Filmora Pro users. We have tons of tutorials everywhere. If you go back to the homepage, you can find the Tutorials tab. Here you'll have access to all the Filmora Pro related videos. Do you know how to animate lines in Filmora Pro? Create a mask on a clip. Add the vector stroke effect to make the lines visible. You can adjust the stroke and animate its start and end to create some stunning animations. Want to go one step further? Apply the mask on a transparent plane and apply the neon glow effect to it. Animate start and end. You can also animate the path of the mask and get results like these. In recent updates, the cosmos, water and electro effects were added. These effects will generate some abstract animations and textures. And they have tons of options to adjust and animate. So we'll have infinite possibilities to create textures like these ones. So that's the list of the Filmora Pro Tips. Do you have any Pro Tips you want to share with us? Let us know in the comment below. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. And see you next time. Well, do I look like a crazy, like a psycho when I do those faces? Just a little bit? <laughs> okay.